right guys let's see how under windows we can install actually linux subsystem and this will help us to install angular so first we go to the microsoft store and we type ubuntu and uh, we click on get so it will open up uh, the integrated microsoft store and uh, we'll be able to download and launch the application and this will open up our Ubuntu subsystem. Uh, there are several things uh, which you can do before uh, actually starting this subsystem. Windows uh, have created uh, Windows subsystem for Linux uh, version 2 which is uh, way much uh, faster than the previous one and so you have to open up PowerShell and uh, run those commands so you just type power shell and the windows powershell with the right click will run as administrator and then we'll just uh, copy and paste those two uh, lines which will actually enable the virtualization and the uh, windows subsystem for linux so just paste uh, the lines and it will automatically install the stuff for us of course you might be prompted uh, to restart the computer and that's something uh, normal Okay, we see that the restart is not needed. So if we type VSL-L, we see that we are currently under the Ubuntu 18.04. And actually we can type VSL uh, set uh, default and then we'll choose uh, Ubuntu 18.04 and then number two to set uh, the second version of uh, Windows subsystem for Linux active for uh, this Ubuntu 18.04 distribution. Uh, after everything is ready, you may need to reboot and uh, we'll continue with uh, starting the Ubuntu by just uh, typing Ubuntu and from the apps we'll run Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, you may need to enter your username and password and actually we will be inside of um, the shell. All right, so from here, first we'll type sudo apt update and sudo apt dist upgrade to update the local distribution uh, here and all the packages which might need uh, to be updated. And we see we have uh, some packages which can be upgraded. So we download them and uh, on the apt package manager will uh, install them. All right, the system is updated. Okay, in order uh, to continue with the installation, we need to install npm and uh, node.js. And uh, since uh, we're using Ubuntu 18.04, uh, it's uh, uh, distribution uh, doesn't allow us uh, to upgrade uh, easily those packages and to use the latest ones. And that's why we'll go to the Node.js uh, website and here for the installation we see that the official Node.js binary distributions uh, for Debian and Ubuntu are provided by NodeSource. On the website of uh, NodeSource or their GitHub uh, repository we see uh, installation instructions for uh, Ubuntu. So we'll just copy these lines, they'll fetch and install our package and we go again inside of our Ubuntu and paste the lines here. Okay, we see that uh, we're installing a new repository of uh, Node.js and after it has been installed, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, install the whole package. This also updates our repository list and uh, here is the instruction, sudo apt get install. Uh, not GS. All right, uh, and this will actually install the latest uh, version of Node inside of our uh, system. All right, the installation finished. We can type Node minus V, and we see that we are with the latest version. And if we type in PM minus V, we also see that the NPM has been updated to the latest version. Okay, we are ready, and the next step is to install our angular um, package or the angular coi so we'll type npm install minus global and angular 
and we would like the command line interface of Angular to be installed. So this will fetch the files and install the package on our systems and afterwards we will use the package uh, to uh, create a sample um, Angular project. We see that we don't have uh, access to uh, certain folders so we can uh, just run the command under the super user uh, privileges uh, in order to fix those uh, problems. Uh, here we say whether we would like to share a data and uh, our package is installed. Uh, so now uh, here we can uh, just run ng new and our application, let's say it will be project. So this will uh, create the application for us using the Angular uh, COI. We we'll don't want to use Angular routing and we'll use simple CSS. As you can see, um, under the directory of project, our files will be stored. So right now we are fetching the node modules and uh, they are needed for the functioning of Angular. All right, um, actually from now on we can uh, try to run our project. Uh, we we'll just enter inside of the project directory and from here we can just type ngsurf and this uh, should uh, pre-compile the files, the TypeScript files from our project and we will run the in-memory web server for Angular uh, to serve our application. We see that the live development server is listening on localhost and the port uh, so we can try to open this uh, address. Uh, well, let's go to our browser and here we'll open local host at port 4200 and actually this is our angular application up and running under the linux subsystem for windows if we have a visual studio code we can open up the application and start editing and working on it we'll go back to our uh, project, we'll stop it for now from execution with uh, control C and here inside of the project we'll run our Visual Studio code this will actually open uh, the current project directory uh, to be editable as a source directory inside the Visual Studio code so that's uh, one easy way to find uh, where you are uh, this is our project as you can see and inside of the source directory we can find our application actually we can go to the app component uh, within the typescript file and let's say vsl uh, project uh, we save and uh, if we go back to our project and ngsurf we should expect our live development server to reappear and the changes uh, to be affecting the live version of uh, which the browser is showing us. Okay, so now let's go back uh, and rearm our project. And we see the title of the project has been changed.